Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke told lawmakers that the U.S. Central Bank still expects to scale back its bond purchases later this year. But he took great care to explain that the health of the U.S. economy will determine the timeline. I emphasize that because our asset purchases depend on economic and financial developments, they are by no means on a preset course. The complex Fed program involving the purchase of $85 billion in bonds and mortgage-backed securities every month is intended to cut long-term interest rates. Economists say it's helped boost stock prices, made it easier for businesses to get loans, and for families to buy homes and cars. That's why just a suggestion last month that the Fed could start scaling back the program sent stock prices tumbling. Joseph Gagnon at the Peterson Institute says Bernanke is trying to avoid the same reaction. It's clear it has to end at some point, and I think he thought everyone knew that, and I think he thought in June that he was not being alarming, and he was. So I think now he is definitely does not want to enhance that message at all. The message appears to have eased concerns on Wall Street for now. But a steady increase in hiring and the continuing turnaround in the housing market could hasten the pullback. Gagnon, who worked briefly as Monetary Affairs Director at the Central Bank, says the first steps are likely to be small. It won't be even as much as a 50% cut. It might be a, a quarter or a third cut in the rate of purchases. And then it will gradually continue. If, if all goes well, I think it will stop by the middle of the year, next year. Bernanke, who is expected to step down at the end of his term this year, says nothing is written in stone. In the unlikely event that the economy falters, he says the central bank is prepared to increase the pace of bond purchases to minimize the effects of any unanticipated economic shocks. Milar Sega, VOA News, Washington.